Hi, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I've been receiving a lot of emails on the blending and lighting technique that I did recently. And the emails have been based around uh, not being able to use a layer mask in version 6, 7, and 8. Remember, I told you the layer mask came out in version 9 and 10. So I wanted to do this updated video to give you folks uh, two possible ways of doing this. And to be honest, I think I missed a step uh, when I was showing you because I was primarily showing you how to use a mask in 9 and 10. And somehow inadvertently, I left out a couple key steps if you are using uh, version 6, 7, or 8. So let me go ahead and clarify that now. So right here we have our end result of our picture here. This is using a mask to create a soft focus is what we talked about in that video. Now this is the end result and I'm going to show you how I came up with this using a adjustment layer to get the layer mask. So I was kind of cheating this, uh, pretending like this is Photoshop Elements 6. So I'm going to revert this picture back to normal. Now there's a couple key steps here that we got to uh, do and be able to um, utilize. Now first we want to duplicate that background image just like we always do using either Control J or Command J. We're going to duplicate that. Next what you want to do is click on this layer and what I want you to do here is we're going to add that blur to it. So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and we're going to just add that blur. Now if you notice what's going to happen is you don't see that blur unless you unselect this here. If we shut off the visibility off that layer 1 you can see it because anything above makes it cleaner than anything below. So there you go. What we got to do now is we have to add that layer mask. So you don't want to blur this one like when we have the layer mask you want to blur the background. Then in this one up here is where we're going to be doing our adjustments. So let's go back and say that now. The background down here is one's blurred. But you duplicate that before you blur it. Duplicate it before you blur it. Then click on the background layer. Click down here and you can use any of these. I'm going to use levels. And the only reason is I want to get this right here. This mask. Now to make this work, we have to clip this to this. That way that mask knows that it's affecting this and not this under it. So we're going to click on that top layer and hit Command or Control G. And it does a clipping. So now it's clipped together. That's what we need to do. Now what we need to do, since we're doing everything kind of in a reversal way, uh, when, you, when you have a mask, and you can see how I forgot some of these steps, we're going to go into this mask here, click on the mask itself, and do a command or control I. And that's going to fill it with black. Now as soon as we did that and we clicked on that mask, you can see that the whole picture blurred out once again. That is because now we're going to paint with white to reveal. If your layer mask is black, you paint with white. If it's white, you paint with black to reveal. But this time we're revealing above instead of below, so it's kind of a reversal of how this actually works. So I got my white selected over here. We're just going to grab a brush and just start painting away. <coughs> there you go. So we're just going to paint like we did on the other one. And you can see now that even if I'm in version 6, 5, 6, 7, or 8, I can now do this technique. And uh, that's why I wanted to show you this. I mean, and when I'm, you know, when you're doing a live video, um, and I mention something like that, I don't always, and I'm sorry about this, but, you know, it's live. It's when you're recording it. Um, and I said used to be, I used to receive a lot of emails. Says Jack, why don't you script that stuff? You know, write scripts up and stuff of what you're going to do and have exact steps. And you might as well read a book then or watch a robot uh, do that uh, techniques because that's not for me. Um, I like to do stuff uh, and teach you real life. And real life is it's going to mess up. There's going to be mistakes. So that's just the way it works. Now here's another way we can do this. I want to show you another way to do this. Make it pretty easy on you. Is there's a tool out there called Grant's Tools. 
Look back through my archival videos and you will find Grant's tools. And I talked about that. Grant's tools, the gentleman that wrote these things, it's a bunch of actions and a bunch of add-ons for Photoshop Elements. And one of those is a mask. So let me show you that. So that's how you would do it that way. Let's revert this back. So in using Grant's tools, what we're going to do here now is take the image, duplicate it, Control J or Command J. On this particular layer here, all you have to do now is go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to blur it. So there's our blurring effect. Now with Grant's Tools, if you click here and you'll see Grant's Tools right there under the Effects uh, panel, and those are installed, go back to my videos and look for Grant's Tools. It's very easy. Click on the mask and click Apply. Now if we click on this mask and we paint with black, you can see that we actually now have a mask just like Photoshop Elements 9 and 10 has. And just remember it's Grant's Tools. Um, and I've actually successfully loaded Grant's Tools in Elements uh, 6, 7, and 8. I've successfully loaded on Windows uh, 7. I've successfully loaded on a Mac. So it works on all versions and pretty much across the board. But that's how you have it. And that looks exactly the way my other tutorial looked on uh, Blending and Lightning. So there you have it. It's very easy. Um, once again, I, I'm, like I said, I'm very sorry that um, I misled you on the other video. So I wanted to create this video to clarify all this and to uh, help you along and not to uh, steer you in the wrong direction. Let you know that you can rely on Jack's Tech Corner and me, Jack, to uh, help you with your photo editing. Um, so, But we can't slip every now and then, and that's being human and not a robot or not a script out of a book. Um, I'm not teaching you out of a book because to do that, you might as well buy the book yourself. I'm sure you're intelligent. I'm sure you can read. So I wouldn't have to teach you out of a book. That would be kind of silly. So that's why these videos are sometimes a little bit off the cuff. That's what happens. So again, thank you very much for watching Jack's Tech Corner. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button wherever it is. You'll find it. And uh, subscribe to these video tutorials. And as always, keep those shutters clicking. Keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. So long for now.